Hello everyone, Sunson Duck 2, and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Mob Count Mod. A mod that's the ability for you to see how much mobs you've actually encountered, as well as also change the actual display using a keybinding config access. So, you can access the actual config menu with P and C by default. And you have access to the following config here. So you can enable or disable the view of it. You can change the message list. So for this I'm not exactly sure what that'll do just yet. And we'll see. So nothing there. Just yet. I'm assuming that's for just specifying uh, the mob list or something. Or a message that displays in regards to it. We'll find out. So you can add a string there. You've got a sound file. I'm assuming this is for each time it calculates the actual um, mobs you've defeated. There's the actual notify faction. Uh, notify F, F faction. Okay, so that notifies faction chat. So if you want to have faction specific chat and you don't want other players to know from a different faction, you can obviously enable to save that. You've got obviously XP5, which is for just considering a mob counter radius. You've got hotkeys for displaying passive or hostile mobs, as well as obviously opening the config menu that we're in now. Uh, there is other things you can change, such as obviously left click to configure, right click to reset defaults, and a few other considerations here. So advanced key bindings are activating it, context specific configs. You've got, if there's an empty key binding, it'll consider, so allowing for empty key bindings or not, possibly it'll give a warning or something. Um, further processing, um, when the last key is pressed and the key binding is activated, uh, let's see, a check for when all keys are released, and if there's no other key bindings being activated, uh, consideration of keys for specific order, extra keys that are used, and so on. Um, displaying, I'm assuming, only the key bindings, or having the key bindings only specific to in game or GUI use. Um, and activating the key binding on release of both. So we'll go with other ones. So you can see the mob count there, you can see the radius is 16 blocks. If we change here, you can see obviously the hostile besides the others. So you can see a B as well. I think it was O from memory, yep. So that's all the hostile there and then the peaceful there. So just spawn a few in. And not much is updating there, because I'm assuming I haven't set up a faction-like logic to it, it seems. So I don't know exactly how to set that up. I'm assuming... Can, and you can access this here as well. So just check here, and I'm assuming that might be the faction. So just say hello or something. And we'll say... Um, other faction, possibly. We'll see what happens there. Doesn't seem to be anything to do with that. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to find the faction. We'll go here, we'll open the GUI settings, and we'll see what else happens when enabling these. So we can try and activate that. Much luck there. Let's try the mod menu and change that as well. Okay. We can also search for specific things as well if we want to. We'll set a button. Uh, key binding there. Uh, otherwise, uh, that seems to be it. Uh, there may be more detailed 
elsewhere, but yeah, that's as far as I can work out at the moment. Um, obviously you may probably want to set up factions, I'm assuming with a scoreboard rather than with the actual menu. So I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but I'm assuming that once you've got that set up, things will be displayed according to the following there, once you've set up proper teams or factions. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.